Okay, here we are now as we take a little bit of a, a diversion here, not talking so much about the brackets and the game and the NC2A and all the excitement that comes with March Madness, but a little return to the days of Ryan Francis and just saying the name, uh, Chris Penrose here, former teammate, classmate, friend uh, for life uh, is here with us. Chris, member of last year's team, uh, went to the, to the, to the tournament, but beyond sport and academics there was your friendship with ryan francis mm -hmm. um you know uh when ryan first came down to usc to, to take a look at the school i was his host and um so we spent a lot of time together we spent about two days together uh went out to dinner with paulette and ryan and, and coach floyd and his wife and i uh, got to know ryan really well and at that point it was um it was pretty much between louisiana lafayette and usc okay. And I, uh, I took him out, you know, showed him a good time, and we became pretty good friends. And he pretty much told me right there, he goes, you know, I can see myself hanging out with you. I like the guys on the team. I think I'm going to come here. And so, you know, we just kind of talked back and forth. But it was really funny. During that summer before his freshman year, he would call me at like 1 in the morning and say, I can't sleep. I'm so excited to go to USC. Tell me, tell me what practice is like. Tell me what the games are like. Tell me what the crowd's like. And he was just so funny because he was just so excited to get here. And finally, when he got here and I helped him move in and everything, he'd come knocking on my door at 3 in the morning. I can't sleep. I, I, I want practice to start already. Let's go get some food. Let's do something. I'm sitting there going dude it's three in the morning I've been sleeping for like four hours what are you doing but um you know he's a great guy just I just w really wish he was here yeah. and um you know he he passed away and and the team went to travel to Baton Rouge and and see his service and uh, I spoke at it mm -hmm. I had Nick up there with me because Nick was one of his close friends it was yeah. his roommate on the road and um you know, Ryan and I, we were very close all year long. We were actually, we planned workouts together during the mm -hmm. summer. Uh, we were going to live right next door to each other. Like, the, pretty much the crew was uh, Seat Odzik, who's now at Illinois State, uh, Ryan, Gabe, and myself. That was like the crew. We were all going to live together, or live right next to each other. And it's just, you know, I think about him every single day. We're, we're the wristband that I made oh, for him. Oh, my goodness. My, my yeah. mom and my little sister helped make the wristband Take for him. Take a look at that, Chris. And, and um, the franchise, That's Ryan the franchise. franchise. There yeah. he is. And, okay. Uh, I just I think of him every day. I talk to Paulette about every two weeks, and mm -hmm. um, you know, on my senior night here last year, I brought her out on the court with me and my mother, my father, my little brothers. So um, I stay very close with her. I call her my down south mom. I love her to death, and uh, you know, I just I wish she was here. It's just it just kills me it really does very very um, emotional very uh, sorrowful and heart rendering and that's kind of almost hard to, to stop the tears and when you speak of a very close friend and tragically it was taken from us but um, the school has gone to great um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, great lengths and great means to re uh, remember and establish a memorial here for him. Absolutely, we have his number on on the center court at the Galen Center. Uh, last year we had patches mm -hmm. that said we remember Ryan Francis, number 12, and um, you know we have a, a, a locker in in the locker room that's dedicated to him, has his jersey, a couple pictures, and a glass case. And uh, you know last year um, every time we went on the court, it'd be one, two, three franchise. Every time, every time, and and what, it, I'm kind of getting a, a little emotional right now because uh, tomorrow, March 17th, is actually Ryan's 21st birthday. Oh Would have been his 21st birthday, and uh, I'll never forget last year, we were playing Texas in the in the uh, second round of the NCAA tournament, and it was on March 18th. Ryan's birthday was uh, that off day we had in between games, and I just right before we got on the court, I just grabbed everybody and I said, hey. We know yesterday was Ryan's birthday. Mm -hmm. Everyone's talking about North Carolina, Texas in the, set, in, the, in the Sweet 16. No one's even talking about USC. I said, you know, let's win this one for Ryan. Let's go out there. He's going to help us. He's going to be with us the whole time, and let's win this in his, in his name. And we blew Texas out, which was great. So um, it's things like that that make you realize that he really is around the team. He, he's, he's real. You know, he's, he, he's not here, but he's real. Yes. And, um, yeah, that's, it was just very special. Well, the story here, again, it continues to unfold, and only time will 
will tell the impact that Ryan Francis will have on USC and Coach Floyd also when we spoke to him very very involved even to this moment and with the mother with Paulette and his family um, Ryan's family and he will do anything and everything to keep the memory of Ryan Francis here home. absolutely oh absolutely coach Floyd's wonderful at that that's one thing that you know he as long as he's here there's going to be a locker in there for Ryan his number is going to be on the court uh, we have a bench right outside that's dedicated to Ryan mm -hmm. uh, we also have the Ryan Francis uh, scholarship yes. which uh, we're trying to raise money for we're about halfway there okay. so for people who are watching you know just five bucks five dollars to the Ryan Francis scholarship foundation and and you know it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and we're just we're just trying to do everything we can to preserve his memory and okay. keep him around because we know he's gonna be in the Galen yeah. Center you know yeah. his spirit will live in here forever and we just want to make sure that nobody ever forgets about him and you can only imagine how happy he would have been playing in the Galen Center these past two years and going to the tournament for two consecutive years but uh, that story will will never know but we can only imagine right you know one of Ryan's uh, reasons for coming to USC as well was because of the Galen Center. We took him to the side and we kind of showed him around and he was all excited and for him to not be able to play in this arena is it's really you know it's a tragedy. It really is and it's just it's so tough. I'll never forget uh, the first game last year against South Carolina. We had a little halftime ceremony in his honor and okay. Paulette came out and they they rolled the video and every there wasn't a dry eye in the entire arena and um, you know I think as tough as that is for people I think we need to do more of that um, mm -hmm. especially as the years go on and and his memory will fade a little bit it's important to bring that back yes. and to bring back the videos of Absolutely. him uh, against North Carolina oh, when he yeah. when he gets the the loose ball and ties up and he's run down the court waving his hands it's one of my favorite one of my favorite Ryan Francis moments ever and uh, you know it's yeah we just got to keep it alive keep it alive well he was certainly a very very um, great young man and we knew him when he was still playing for for the Trojans of course always friendly always giving us an interview and we began to, to establish a nice rapport with Francis uh, with Ryan and uh, of course he will live on in our memory as well and as long as he's selling sports scene is talking about Trojan hoops and basketball the the story of Ryan Francis uh, comes forward but you uh, his friend You've really filled in a lot of the missing pieces that we really didn't know, and we thank, thank you, you for taking the time. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And I know um, I saw the other day you guys gave Paulette Francis a bunch of pictures and everything, and that stuff is is just unbelievable. She loves it all. And, uh, you know, it's thanks to you guys as well, East L.A. Sports Scene, for keeping his memory alive. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. We thank you, Chris Penrose. And now, uh, very active. Personally speaking, we'll do that quick now at SCTV as well as Fox Sports. That's right. Uh, you know, earlier this year or right before basketball season started, um, Gary Paskowitz with WeRSC contacted me and said, we're going to start a, a basketball section and mm -hmm. we really want to build it up. And because of, you know, three-year captain and the final shot of the senior year and everything like that, they wanted me to come on. And so I've been doing a little bit of interviews, a little bit of video, and then uh, Fox Sports West called me and they kind of liked what I did and had me do the uh, uh, Trojans live post game for the Oregon Oregon State games and next year I think they're going to lock me down so hopefully uh, that'll happen I hope so well you're on your way and I'm sure wherever you go Ryan Francis your dear friend absolutely. forever will be with you absolutely okay Chris Penrose thank you so much thank as we you. now conclude our coverage here at the Galen Center as one of the premier sports uh, campuses auditoriums and uh, centers here in, in any part of the country it's Galen Center and it would have been the home for Ryan Francis for the rest of his career but not to be as we all know what happened very tragically he was killed but here we are selection Sunday is over we have now uh, got all the pairings the brackets are complete and the Trojans are going to Omaha as the sixth seed they take on Kansas State. Okay, uh, as we all know, the uh, other number one seed in the West, UCLA Bruins, they will be playing Mississippi Valley State, and that will be on Thursday. So stay tuned. We're on the road to the Final Four. March Madness is just incredible. Every year it gets better and better. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next edition of East LA Sports Scene every Tuesday from 7 to 8 p.m.